Copyright is a necessary tool to protect artistic works from theft and commercial exploitation. A creator may want to adapt those protections while still retaining the some rights reserved status. Enter the Creative Commons. The four elements of the Creative Commons licenses allow the owner of the copyrighted work to establish more flexible terms on how the material can be publicly used, such as attribution, which is included in all of the licenses. Here, users can use the work as long as credit to the artist or creator is given. Share alike. Any reproduction or adaptation must use existing or compatible licenses. Non-commercial, meaning that any reproduction of the work can only be used for non-commercial purposes. No derivatives. This means that no adaptations are allowed in the reproduction of the work. The licenses are standardized through the Creative Commons and built on a three-layer design, providing legally enforceable, publicly understandable, and machine-readable tools that are accessible to all stakeholders. The elements are then combined to create six main Creative Commons licenses. The first and least restrictive license is the Attribution License, which allows the public to reuse the material for any purpose as long as attribution is given to the creator. Adding the element Share Alike allows the work to be reused as long as credit is given and further use either uses existing or compatible licenses. The Attribution Non-Commercial License allows for the work to be used for any non-commercial purposes as long as the creator is given proper attribution. Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike combines the three elements which carry all of the previously mentioned restrictions. Attribution No Derivatives allows reuse for any purpose as long as attribution is made and no adaptations have been performed on the original work. Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives is the most restrictive of the individual Creative Commons licenses. Reuse can only be done under the conditions that it is for non-commercial use, there have been no adaptations, and attribution to the creator of the original work is included. Because these licenses are part of and not apart from copyright, they fall under the same exceptions and limitations as the original copyright protections. This is a fundamental principle of Creative Commons, and in situations such as fair use or fair dealings, these licenses only work within the scope of the originally established copyright protections. In some instances, an artist or creator will decide to dedicate their work to the public domain and disclaim copyright, thus applying the No Rights Reserved license. This form of dedication may not be recognized in all countries, so the CCO license contains an additional feature called a waiver, and it also includes a promise that copyright will not be asserted on reusers of the work. In conclusion, Creative Commons has created tools that contain elements that provide improved flexibility to the artist in establishing legal parameters of how their original work is used by the public. For more information about Creative Commons, please visit creativecommons.org.